All right, no introductions, no nothing. I want to talk to you guys about something. I'm sure that you're aware that it's been over a week since my last YouTube video. I assure you, this is not because I'm not busy working on projects. <laughs> I have projects, trust me. I've got four videos in the making as we speak, and I have one huge project that I haven't even started making videos on yet. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about. I just got done watching a video by Mumbo on his filmmaking channel about story. Now, I always thought that what people cared about in my content was the wow factor, the big awe-inspiring thing that I build. Then the story would be, well, obviously, it would be how I built that thing. Simple, right? I mean, really. But I realized after watching that video of Mumbo's that I've kind of got it all wrong, don't I? Yeah, my crazy awe-inspiring builds may bring people to my door, but I've always just given people big time-lapse to show the story. But the real story behind these builds is far more personal. And as open as I sometimes am, I'm always afraid to talk about things that may disappoint people. I, I have a secret for you. I'm not all that great at building. The, the, the real story behind these builds, <laughs> it's about friendships. It's, it's, it's not about placing blocks or what color palette works best for the theme we're working for or anything like that. It's about real people expressing themselves together as a group. It's about working out our differences, spending time together, laughing, crying, getting to know each other. But lately, I've just started to focus more on the builds themselves. As I've gotten better at building personally, it's it's been affecting how I play even in my survival videos. Normally, I would just bone meal a dozen vanilla trees on top of this mountain I just cleaned up. But now I know better. I must make them custom. All custom. That's what people expect of me. Content. Yay! But I'm finding that I'm starting to lose that spark I once had. I'm so worried that if I don't create something thumbnail worthy, no one is ever going to watch my video. These are the things that YouTubers struggle with. This, this is the real story. Sometimes I find myself focusing more about trying to build up the quality of my content than why I enjoyed creating content in the first place. Friendships. This problem is even affecting my relationship with my son. I, I felt like our Windcraft series wasn't living up to people's expectations of my channel, so I've been constantly having to tell him no when he asked if we can make content together. So I have to ask myself, why am I even bothering? There are plenty of awesome builders out there. There are plenty of awesome Let's Players out there. There's great Minecraft YouTubers everywhere. The world does not need another Minecraft YouTuber like me. It, it really doesn't. If I keep focusing on big builds and awe-inspiring thumbnails that bring viewers in, I, I may end up losing who I am, and to be honest, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm starting to lose that spark, and I'm losing all motivation to keep moving forward. What is a YouTuber to do then? Surely there's some plans, surely there's a bright side to all this. Well, that's the story, that's my story. I, and unlike in movies and TV shows, real life stories take a while. I, I'm, I'm still learning what it means to be a content creator. I'm still learning what it means to be a father, what it means to be a friend. Th this is my story. But one thing is for sure, I can't let the expectations of my viewers cloud my focus on what this is all about for me ever again. Save for one expectation. The expectation I want you guys to hold me to is that I need to be myself.